IP addresses on VLANs, or physical interfaces, provide unique identifiers for interfaces within a network. They're necessary for communication and routing. It's like how every house has an address. When mail needs to be sent and delivered, it gives the mail carrier a specific location for pickup and delivery. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll demonstrate how to add, as well as change an IP address per VLAN or per switch port interface on CBS250 and CBS350 series switches using the command line interface, CLI. Next. I'll start with a look at what VLANs are configured on the switch. Type the command show VLAN and press enter. In this demonstration, I have VLANs 20 and 30, along with the default VLAN 1. To look at the IP interface, enter the command show IP interface. In this example, VLAN 20 has an IP address, but VLAN 30 does not. To assign an IP address to VLAN 30, go into configuration mode by typing configuration terminal, or config T for short. Press enter. This puts you in global configuration mode. Since I'm configuring VLAN 30, I'll enter interface VLAN 30. On that same line, enter the command IP address and then an IP address. I'll enter 192.168.30.1, followed by the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. You can confirm that the VLAN now has an IP address with the command do show IP interface or INT for the abbreviated portion of the command. You can see that VLAN 30 now has an IP address listed. That's the simple way to assign an IP address to a VLAN. If you need to change the IP address on an interface, first type the VLAN interface. For this example, I'll enter interface VLAN 20. To remove the IP address, type the command no IP address and then the IP address that was assigned. In this example, that was 192.168.21.1, the IP address of VLAN 20. To verify that this command has taken effect, enter do show IP INT to see that VLAN 20 no longer has an IP address. Now you can give the VLAN the IP address you've chosen. In one line, enter the command IP address, the actual IP address, and then the subnet mask. I'll enter 192.168.20.1 for the address and 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask. To verify that this was successful, enter the command do show IP interface to see that the IP address has been changed. Great, adding and changing IP addresses per VLAN was a pretty painless process. Next, I'll show you how to change and assign an IP address to a switch port interface. For this process, you should first identify the interface for which you would like to assign an IP address. I'll enter gigabit interface 1 slash 0 slash 2. Assign an IP address followed by the subnet mask. In this example, the command is IP address 192.168.60.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Once that's done, type do show IP interface to verify. Great, gig port two now shows an IP address of 192.168.60.1. That's all there is to it. Now you can configure and change IP addresses on a VLAN or switch port interface whenever needed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.